Hello and welcome to this Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal from TrumpExcel.com and in this video I am going to show you how to delete alternate rows or columns in Excel or how to delete every third, fourth or fifth row or column in Excel. Now here I have a data set where I want to delete the alternate row. So I want to delete row number 3 and 5 and 7. Now because this is a small data set I can also manually do it. But if you are working with large data sets then doing it manually is not an option. So you can use the methods I show you in this video. Now the first thing I would do is use a helper column and use a formula within that helper column that helps me identify these alternate rows. So the formula that I am going to use is is even and within this formula I'm going to use the row function. The row function gives you the row number in which it is used. So in this case the row number is going to the row function is going to give me the value as 2 and is even is going to tell me whether that value is even or not. So this gives me true for every even row and it would give me false for every odd row. So now I can easily filter this data set and to do that I would select any cell in this data set. I would go to the data tab and click on the filter icon. This would apply filter to all these headers and I can click on the helper column header filter and I would uncheck true because I only want false values. Now I would click OK and it would give me all the cells that have false in it. So it filters this data and I have to now delete this data. So I would select these, right click and click on delete row. Now when you delete these cells, it would delete the entire row but it would not delete the rows that have been filtered. So it only delete the visible rows, not the one that have been filtered. And now when I click OK, it deletes these. You do not see anything here because there are some filtered rows. So to get that back, I would go back to the data tab and click on the filter tab here. And it would give me back my original data where the alternate rows have been deleted. Do not worry about the values in the helper column because these would still check whether the row is odd or even and give you the value based on it. So you can simply delete the helper column here. Now, if you want to delete every third or fourth or fifth row, then you can use a similar methodology with a simple tweak, which is change the formula. So here again, I have this data set and I want to delete every third row. So I want to delete row number four here, row number seven, row number 10, which is the third row in my data set. Now to do that, I would use a slightly different formula. I would use the mod function, which takes a number, divides it by a given number and gives you the remainder. And in this case, my number that has to be divided would be the row number and the divisor would be three because I want to delete every third row. And now when I hit enter, you see this gives me two because this is row number two. And when two is divided by three, the remainder is two. Now, if I apply it for all these cells, it'll give me zero here because row number three divided by three is zero. So now what I want is I want to delete every third row in this data set. So I want to delete this row where the helper column value is one. And then I want to delete this one where the helper column value is one again. So I'm going to filter this data based on the helper column. So I would select any cell in this data set, go to the data tab and click on the filter icon. Now I would come here and I would filter this data based on the value one in helper column. Now these are all these rows which were the third, uh, sixth or ninth and so on row numbers in the data set. So I would delete these, I would select these cells, right click, click on delete row, click OK. Now I don't see anything so I go back to the data tab, click on filter and it gives me the data set where I am left with uh, this data where every third row has been deleted. And again you can come here and uh, delete the helper column. In case you want to delete every fourth or fifth row then you can change the formula accordingly the mod formula. Now uh, I'll also show you another method of deleting alternate rows which is using VBA. So here I have a VBA code and I would have this VBA code below this video in the description so you can simply copy and use it. And to use this VBA code I would go to the developer tab here and click on visual basic. In case you do not see the developer tab you can also come to the tab here tab name here right click and click on view code. This will open the VB editor and here I would right click on any of these objects on the left, hover over insert option and click on module. The module is where I would put the VBA code and I would run the VBA code from within the module. So I would paste the code here. Now let me minimize the screen so I can show you how it works. Now select any cell, any uh, line in the code 
and you have to run the code. So you can click on this green button or you can use the keyboard shortcut F5 and see what happens. This is the data set. And uh, when I run this code, it would first ask me to select the range where I have the data set. So in this case, my data set is this. I'm not including the headers because I want my data to start from here. So I want to delete alternate rows in the data set, excluding the header. So I've specified that here in the box as well in this uh, message box and now when i click okay see what happens all the alternate rows would be deleted which would be all the rows for canada so instantly it deletes all these rows again if you want to modify this vba code so that it, delete, it deletes every third or fourth or fifth row you can easily do that now uh, this is where uh, you have deleted alternate rows or every third fourth fifth row but what if you want to delete alternate columns unfortunately you cannot filter a data via columns you can filter the, uh, the rows but you cannot filter columns so in this case we will have to use a slightly different technique so the first thing i would do is i would insert a row above this data set and in in this data set i am going to delete alternate rows which would be row number c uh, row c row e sorry column c column e column g now in this case i'm going to use a formula which would again be the mod formula and here i would use the column function which would give me the column number and i would subtract one from it because this is the second column in the in the worksheet and i'm considering this to be the first column in my data set so to make sure that this value is one and this is two and this is three i am subtracting one from column and now i would say the divisor is two and now when i hit enter it gives me one here and if i apply this formula to all these cells it gives me ones and zeros now the first thing i would need to do is i need to convert this formula into values because i don't want that anything happens to this data set and the values change automatically based on the formula so to do that i would copy this right click go to paste special and here select values and click ok so this has converted these into values now it is no longer a formula now i'm going to sort this data set so i would select this entire not sorry not the entire data set only this part i would not select uh, the leftmost part which has the row headers and now i would click on data i would click on sort icon here this opens the sort dialog box and i would click on options because i want to sort this data based on the row from left to right so i would click on options and here i would select sort left to right I would click ok and the entire data set is selected now i would say sort by row number one and uh, the order should be smallest to largest because i want all the zeros together and ones together because if i have all the zeros together it is easier for me to simply select these and delete these so now when i click ok you can see i have all the zeros together these are all those alternate columns that i wanted to delete so i can simply select these right click and click on delete so i am left with only those columns which were not alternate and every alternate column has been deleted similarly if you want to delete every third fourth or fifth column you can modify the mod formula so that every third column gives you the zero value or every fourth column gives you the zero value you sort it get all the zeros together and delete it now i would also show you another method of deleting alternate columns which is by using vba so again i have this vba code here and i would have this code in the description so you can copy and use it and here I would simply select uh, first of all go into the VB editor so I would click on uh, right click on the tab name go to view code and here I would again paste it in the same module if you want you can insert a new module as well I have pasted the code here and let's uh, run it and now the first thing it would ask me is to select the range excluding the headers so I would select this range here let me let me move this here so that I can see the entire data set and now I would run this again I would select this entire data set and see what happens as soon as I click OK uh, February April and June would be gone so you can see instantly February uh, May uh, February April and June uh, columns are gone and I'm only left with these columns so it has instantly removed alternate columns and now again if you want to remove every third fourth or fifth column you can modify the VBA code and it would again ask you to select the data set and it would delete every third fourth or fifth column uh, based on what you have specified so this is how you can delete alternate rows or columns in Excel using formulas or using VBA that's it in this video I hope you found this useful also if you want to be notified of any Excel video that I come up with please subscribe to this YouTube channel thank you and have a nice day